Okay, guys, so uh, I was just chilling here in a multiplayer session that I put up. I usually tend to put up a multiplayer session whenever I want to play just so I can have the chat feed, but we've got this little non-typical in front of us, and this is really, really cool. It's been a little while since I got my last non-typical, so definitely really happy to see this guy in front of me. So I think what I'm going to do probably is when it comes to the Hunter Classic like this, I'm probably going to just combine multiple clips that I get of good kills and stuff because I can't really make a full video out of just one non-typical like this. So we'll probably wait for a few more kills and then put a video out. But that is a dead non-typical. That is super, super cool. Like I was saying, it's been a little while since I've actually killed one of these guys, so that is awesome. Let's go ahead and take these does out also. That is one, and here's the other one. And that was a bad shot. Well, anyway, we got the non-typical down, and that's really all that matters. Uh, we do actually have another buck right here. Uh, that guy is not exactly worth really going for. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. That is super, super awesome. It's a pretty funky looking non-typical, that's for sure. Sadly, he's not in the best spot. I'm wondering if maybe I can... Maybe we can push him over. I'm gonna try and get him into the lighting. Okay, we might actually be able to do this from right here. We might be able to pull him over into the open. So it's only a 98 scoring non-tip, but still a non-typical nonetheless. Let's drag him out into the light here. And we'll try to get a good looking trophy shot. Not gonna be super easy from this angle. All right, I think that looks pretty good right there, so. Let's go ahead and do, I think, probably this, but we're gonna wait for the lighting to get a little bit better, because the sun did kind of go behind a cloud, sadly. And actually, here's something coming up on us, so. Uh, yeah, we got, looks like that other doe is coming up on us, but. And there we go. That should be good enough there, but. There is a non-typical white-tailed deer. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and taxidermize this guy. And now we'll go check him out in the lodge. Uh, after we kill this guy, because I guess he didn't actually spook like I thought he would. So I guess we'll take this guy out real quick. This guy's not really anything special. I think this might actually be one of the smallest... Yeah, that's definitely one of the smallest white tail I think I've ever killed. This guy is literally just two forks, or not even forks, this is just a spike. You know, I feel like this might be an uncommon thing to find, so let's go ahead and get a trophy shot of this guy too, because I don't think I've ever seen a white-tailed deer this small before. Alright, there we go. That should be good enough there. Now let's go for, let's just do the chroma one. But there we go, six gems. What a giant. Worth a whole six gems. All right, so we got a decent little mule buck right here. Unfortunately, I've already spooked this one when I was trying to track it, so we will have to use the rifle, but shouldn't be too big of an issue. This area doesn't really seem to have too much in it anyway, so let's just take this out. Okay, so before we continue this clip right here, I just wanted to say that before somebody else mentions this in the comments, yes, I know that this next buck that we're about to see isn't actually that big of a buck. It's not nearly as big as what I thought at first glance, but when something's running by you quickly and you're not really able to get the best look, it can look a lot bigger than it really was, and that's kind of what happened here, but nonetheless, it was still a decent buck, so I figured I'd include it in here anyway, but let's get back to it. And, oh, holy, okay, that's a much bigger buck. Well, we got a new objective. Let's go get that other buck. Um, I did not see that guy. I'm sad that I didn't see it before I shot. 
Wow, okay. So, yeah, we gotta go track that guy down. Alright, so it was just a body hit. I must have been a little bit too low. Uh, I did start to run out of breath at the end, so that kind of would explain that, but... It should die anyway, because this is the 30 cal, so I think it should die regardless, but... Definitely gonna run a little bit further than what I was hoping for, but... What we want to do is find that bigger buck. So let's try to find, oh, that's got to be it, 95 to 140. All right, so let's go chase down this 95 to 140 buck. Okay, so it is a mule deer buck. We need to take this guy out before he spooks. I do hear a wolf, which obviously isn't good since we are tracking that buck down. We don't want the wolves to interfere. But I feel like it's not going to be too much further, so I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. I think this might be the buck that was with him. So if that's the case, he shouldn't be too far away from us. Okay, I think I see him. I think that's him. Oh yeah, that definitely is. Uh, he's got a couple... Got a couple deductions, it looks like, maybe. Uh, I don't really know the mule deer scoring too too much uh, like I've said in previous videos and streams when I used to play this game I really didn't play it super seriously so I don't completely know what a really good looking buck is gonna be but this guy's way bigger than most of the ones that I've seen so I'm assuming he's pretty decent so let's just go ahead and take a shot on him And that should kill him. Should have no issues taking him down. Oh, we also found the buck that we shot earlier, so that actually worked out perfectly. We got both of those deer. Alright, so here's that first, uh, that first one that we shot at. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. It's a decent buck. This guy's not too bad at all. And yeah, 181, so that is definitely a good buck. Let's go ahead and take a quick trophy shot of him. Uh, hello, Editor Scarecrow here once again. I just wanted to quickly clarify, this was actually the second buck, and the next one that we find was the first one. I got them mixed up. I just assumed that since I didn't see this guy drop here that it would have been the first one, but uh, I was wrong, but uh, let's get back to it. You know, it's not very often I actually get them into a decent pose right off the bat. Uh, we'll have to do kind of an angle since the hand's clipping a little bit, but I think that looks fine right there, so... Uh, let's go ahead and do shadows on this one, I guess. But not a bad buck at all. 181's not too bad. But now let's go see what that other one scores, because it was definitely bigger. Alright, so I don't know if I missed something or what, but I don't remember him going over here. Um, well then, I guess we'll claim this guy right here. Uh, let's see, 131. This definitely was him. And he's 189 scoring, so maybe this actually isn't the one that we saw run off. I think the one we saw run off was a little bit taller. Well, I guess we'll find out soon, but... Still a decent buck, I'll take it. There we go, that's a pretty decent looking trophy shot, I'd say. Not too bad at all. Uh, we'll probably wait for the sunlight to come back and then take our trophy shot. Uh, actually, I think we might just be at the wrong angle, but we'll just go ahead and turn it around, I guess. Perfect. I'll take that. Looks like a good trophy shot to me. And yeah, definitely not a bad buck. Just not insane. Uh, let's actually just go no filter on this one. But there we go. Alright, so we're now here in one of the lodges, and this is that little non-typical that we just took out. Uh, once again, it's not a super huge one, but still a really, really cool find. And I do like how this guy's actually got a pretty decent sized drop time on each side, around the base of it. I think that looks really cool with the little fork coming off of it. Very, very awesome looking little non-typical. Uh, the smaller non-typical whitetails seem to always have a pretty... Uh, pretty straight up rack which is a little bit different than what the bigger ones that I've seen have. Usually the bigger ones tend to have more of the whitetail looking frame with just a bunch of points everywhere but these smaller ones I've noticed tend to go straight up on at least one side so that's pretty cool. Makes them unique and I absolutely love the non-typicals here in the Hunter Classic and I'm really hoping 
that when Call of the Wild does non-typicals, they actually make them as awesome as these because these really are super, super awesome. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I post daily Call of the Wild content and also classic from time to time and I do quite a few daily live streams. So if you don't subscribe, you're going to be missing out on a lot of content. But until next time, peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.